Today is June 18th. Been a while since we found something. We are uh, just some kind of spalled off piece. Just nice to be some material. We're starting three summers, two and a half years basically of a terrible drought. Oh, uh, I know the tip's gone. See, it's gone, but uh, hoping the rest of it's there. Let's just uncover it right away. Oh. Oh. Well. Huh. Kind of looks like it was still in a blade form, preform, and they were working it to start putting the base in it or something. Well. Beggars can't be choosy. I'll take that. <laughs> Still June 18th. Found a couple other things. Tip, tip. Just a funny looking piece of material. <laughs> That's an accident, trust me. It's just a big flake. It's a little blunt. That thing. And I touched it. <laughs> I did. That's why that dirt and then the clumps are broke. Like I was like, really? Is that something? And I did that and I could see that. The notch in it right there. Oh, look at there. Heck yeah. That's a dandy. Hmm. Look how this base is made, too. You know, a lot of people would, like, probably call this a fairy or maybe even a Williams. And it's just a, a variation of the Atlee. This is probably like... Closer to the end of their basic, like, late archaic. Starting to transition into woodland. Which is basically all those point types are. Still all same culture. Look at that. That's going to look pretty cleaned up. Not too bad of a Father's Day morning. Been out doing a little fishing in the creek this morning. So mini black buzz bait. Oh, oh my knee. Don't like that gravel no more. And just walking along, found this pretty but little beat up Copewell type point. Ain't nobody hunted this crowd bar hard then. I don't know how you miss a pink purple <laughs> point laying amongst a bunch of gravel. Guess I might have to look around a little bit more. Hmm. Thank you, great spirit. Figured I better walk a little bit more ground. You could tell it this spot here was tore up. From the last wash, which has been a long time ago. But, like, I just don't get it. Like, how do people walk past these big, easy arrowheads? Just lay it out here. All flat. Mm. Just kind of waiting. It's a pooter. <laughs> it's a pooter, all right. See the flake scar shine a little bit on it. The old creek's beat it up for a long time. But hey, we ain't never choosy. A find is a find. It was worth my time. So I'm just walking along, walking along, walking along, and you can see where it was. I pushed it with my stick back to there. I was like, oh, it is a bird point. Look at the serrations on that. Right close to the water too, little puddle here so I can wash it off. We have finally, finally had a little rain here in Missouri. Look at that. It's killer. That is a killer little sequoia. Awesome. Thank you, great spirit. We finally had a little bit of rain. A handful of brokes I found. Check out the serrations on that. You know, that ain't no Atlee. We had 
two and a half inches at my house. I think Richard said he had it. Sent a picture where he had an inch at his house. I just found this laying down here in his ditch. Seems like it's all there. Kind of pootered up. But hey, we will take it. That's my old buddy Hook would say, awesome possum. Thank you, great spirit. You can see how much of this was showing. Just that right there. Didn't even see that broke edge. Just poking at material sometimes. Look, look how it laid in there and it popped a little piece of dirt off right there. Wasn't really a lot of it showing. That was the underside. A little banded blunt. Sorry, don't know what's wrong with the shallow depth of the field. Oh, look at that. Bands. Awesome. I just popped this quartzite. Yeah, look out. You can see where my stick hit it. <clears throat> and right there is all I could see. And Sometimes that quartzite's easy to, or tough to see flaking on it. Just a little bit of tip missing. Hey, turning out to be an awesome morning. All that growth in this cow bar, tell you how much of a drought we've been in. Been getting a little bit of rain. Creek didn't wash much. This is actually the second time I'm out in it. It's July 25th. And I'm back here hunting some low water gravel spots in the water. And there are foot tracks all over the place. But I, I just don't understand how people miss that. Stuff like that. I mean, right, a whole different view from way up there. It's missing the tip. And a lot of times I don't show broken tips. And uh, this is actually a piece of rhyolite. Maroonish, reddish rhyolite. Which doesn't come from our area. We have two areas. Uh, the St. Francis Mountains. And there's a little area that's kind of like south of St. Louis. So this material traveled a long ways. And they didn't like walk from here to there. <laughs> that far by travel. They always had boats. There's a old Navajo elder who talks about how they followed the edge of the Barren Strait Fort and came over here by boats. They weren't going to make women and children and their elderly walk that far. But mainstream archaeology has always dismissed those kind of things that elders talk about. Today is August 1st, and you can see how wet the ground is. Even got my rubber boots on, with shorts, of course. We have finally been starting to get some rain back in Missouri. I'm walking around with the old poking stick. Four inches of rain last night, and I just flipped this out. Look at that. <laughs> that was the dirt that was laying on top of it. But that nice little point still cloudy out just kind of got here as it got done raining all right thank you great spirit today is august 10th don't think i've got to put a hunting video up all summer yet <clears throat> So maybe after today I have enough vines I can stick it all together. Up here on the DH site, we're just about over with up here. There's like one little spot that could be hand dug and it's starting to green up pretty fast out there in that open dirt. And I just spotted this over here. All this gravel was from the first people that had this property and they put a driveway coming through here just put gravel down 
And this was a really good pedestal it's on. Uh, not a bad little Atlee. I'll take it. Thank you, great spirit. Today is August 15th. I'm just out walking along, walking along, walking along. Bam. Big old smatly, atly type point. Been in the creek a long time. Nice cloudy morning, too. Today and tomorrow, we're supposed to only be in the mid 70s. Still a little outer cortex on that side. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, we'll take that. Thank you, Great Spirit. For those who, like, always watched my older videos or go back and watch older creek hunting videos, uh, it's all there, pretty much. A little bit of tip missing. I used to show everything I found in the creek. Everything. Even all the brokes. Because that's what creek hunting is. <laughs> well, hunting anywhere. You're always going to find more brokes than you ever will holes. But nowadays, we only turn the camera on. I only do find something decent. Well, today is August 17th. Just getting out about the middle of the day. I think it's like almost 1 o'clock. When I just got here, and boy, it is always so hard to ever miss anything pink or purple. Let's hope the tip's there. Oh, look at that. It is. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. Looks like a little Robinson point. Hopefully it's coming in clear. Uh, I can't tell. Super sunny in my camera screen. Hope everybody's doing well. When it comes to hunting artifacts, especially out in these big seas of gravel, it's all, well, it's always got to be in the eyes. But it's always a lot of effort and a lot of persistence. That's the point. Literally and figuratively. <clears throat> Can't believe I found that. Both these little bee arrowheads. That one's just got a little bit of shoulder missing. Like a little Hopewell type point. That's a Robinson. Late archaic dirt point. <clears throat> it's starting to get a little breeze and cloudy out here this afternoon. Which is good, because I'm going to be here a while. Mm, pretty sure it's missing a little bit of tip. Look how it's embedded. It had gravel sucked off of it. It was buried. Yeah. Like a nice little Kramer point. Ain't that ironic? Well, that's real pretty on that side. Just this morning, one of my Facebook memories was when I found my G10 Kramer, which is like almost twice this size. And made stellar. Just don't find a lot of them like that. Not like that G10. That's kind of normal. No matter what it is. <laughs> Today is September 4th. It's been a long, slow summer. Look at that. You can tell there's a base there. Let's see what we got. Hey, how about that? That's a whole point. It's like a little, like, Snyder's variant type. 
sharpened up a bunch. All right. Thank you, great spirits. Day is October 13th. I think after these, maybe I'll finally put a video together. This will be the end of it, of course, though. Found these brokes. This tip. This here. That's a crying shame. I'm going around and just poking the flake. You can see how that was in the clay. And I can push it back. Kind of like that's how I saw it. And I hit it with my stick and it did this. And I was like, oh man, that's a point. Got a little bit of side busted out of it, but hey, still a point. Step down here by the water. Right, wash it off. Right, look at that. Freeze pop. Mm. That's an actual break. Uh, well, still a beautiful day to be out. Thank you, Great Spirit. Today is October 30th. We went from being hot to cold. As quick as Mother Nature could snap her finger. Ah, is it all? Is it all? Oh, ding, ding, doodle. It's missing a little bit of tip. But hey, getting out and finding anything is always appreciated. Thank you, great spirit. What a beautiful day. Well, didn't get it in sit to pick of this. Because oh, all I did was flip it out. You can see where it was at. Oh, it was right there. That, that's how much was showing. Just that. What have we got here? Like a Snyder's variant point. I think it's all there. That's why we do cleanups. We find stuff in the soil. Well, it's been since the middle of May since I put a video up. Not quite a complete atlee from the DH site. And I do have everything in order. <laughs> I watched all the videos before I stuck them in there. We'll try not to make this too long. Really nice Etley. Some nice color on that side. A little chip in the blade there and there. but That's kind of how hunting is. They can't all be perfect. Here's a first little one from the creek and people had walked all over the place all over the place here's a Dixon with that tannic creek staining you can tell it was in the creek for quite a while ah, and that killer little bird point I found with my old buddy D one day out and about And we had this rough pooter here from the DH site. Been sharpened up quite a bit. Which it's pretty rare to see a beveled edge on an Atlee. A little banded blunt. Really nice bands on that side. And I found these two brokes that day. I had this in my hand. When I went to film this next one, man, that'd have been a killer sedalia. And this sedalia drill would have been really stellar. Look at that color going on in there. Don't get no more awesome than that. And when I pulled this atle out, I called it quartzite, but it's actually eulitic. But that sun, what little bit I have is making it sparkle a lot of quartzite new will do that but the best way to tell the two apart is through magnification because oolitic has little tiny spheres 
with a little tiny sphere inside of it. So, like some of the old timers call them fish eyes. And usually don't show many brokes, but even before I picked this up that day, I knew it was a piece of rhyolite, which is really cool because the closest rhyolite to me is like down in Shannon and St. Francis counties in Missouri. So like just by driving, that's like a two and a half hour drive trip. So whomever brought this up here traveled a long ways, and they all traveled by waterway, of course. They always had boats. Aborigines went to Australia by boat. So you know when these people came over here, they already knew about boats themselves. Nice little Atlee. Then this one I found that day on some part that used to be part of the old driveway on the DH, but nobody ever built a house there. And then I had this big old Smetley Etley point in the creek. I mean, it's had been washed on for so long, like it feels smooth as ever. Uh, and there was this point, which can't tell how well the color is showing up in the camera. But this is a very, very colorful little point. Then had this little smoker, little Robinson point. All nice and pink and purple and a little bit of gray in there. Some bandings in the base. And then found this super thin. So there's a chance it's, it's an Afton. I mean, it has that there and that little like shoulder to it <clears throat> really nice flaking and super thin then we had this Kramer where it had all the gravel had been washed off of the top of it then that day I found this little Snyder's type variant sticking out of that bank had been somebody there. They had walked all over the place. Walked past that. And they also walked past this. Now, hopefully I can get some sunlight here. Get this to focus in good. This has really good edge working. All the way, all the way around it. And then it's all uniface on that side. It's made from what we would call a reduction flake. Which, this type of tool, that type of flaking, are all known to be paleo, or what you would want to call transitional paleo, or early archaic. So anything from paleo to Daltonish era. <clears throat> then found this little doodad. It's got some nice color, but look, it's got a freeze pop on this side. And a big freeze pop on that side. And a little one right there. But you know, when tunting is off, man, beggars can't be choosy. <laughs> this is the one I found. That base just sticking up. Then I was so lucky to see this Snyder's point. I mean... You saw in the video, it just barely had a little bit of it uncovered. Poked at it with my stick and it flew up. And I see a lot of people, you see that right there? They'd want to call that an impact break. But we know Schneider points are knives. They were never a projectile. And I have a lot of brokes. I'm going to try and do a bunch of videos. Here, one day soon, I'll get in the mode where it's a bunch of teaching videos with physical evidence. Where <clears throat> a lot of material, when you're using a knife, of course, they're using mostly this part of the knife, the very upper part of the tip. Going in bones, around other things they're cutting on, like it's going to cause that tip to snap off sometimes and pull that stuff back. 
So those aren't all impact brakes. You know, that's the thing about learning about primitive technology. It teaches you so much. But, you know, with a lifetime of wilderness survival study, human psychology, like, that brings a lot more into the game just besides studying what everybody who's ever been in mainstream archaeology can teach. But I won't bore you all for too long. Hopefully it don't take another six months to get another video up. This coming Saturday is opening day of our rifle season for deer. So I'm hoping to tag a couple. At least one, but two or three would be a lot better. And, uh, hope everybody's doing well. <clears throat> Seems like the algorithm kicked me down on my last video, but that's okay. You know, I never have done videos for a uh, bunch of fans or whatever people want to call themselves. I just have people that I make friends with and people who watch my videos. <laughs> I'm not much of a label person, nor a favoritism person. That's why I like them all. Big, little, broke, and super small. Later. <laughs>